What's up guys, Luis here from Alibi Security and today I'm gonna do a really quick video on how to add an Alibi Cloud VS camera to your Alibi Cloud VS account. If you don't already know, we do offer um, cloud offerings for surveillance and that is our Alibi Cloud VS. What this does is that these cameras do not have to connect to an actual unit. All they do is connect to your network and then once you add them to your account, all the recordings are up in the cloud to give you that peace of mind that you'll never be without your footage. Um, if you want more information on Cloud VS, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can get uh, taken to our website that has all the information there. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add this dome camera. And we do have multiple cameras that you can buy, different variances of focal lengths, etc. But in this demo, I'm gonna show you how to do the dome camera. I'm gonna add it to the Cloud VS account. Let's get started. So as you can see here on my computer, I do have the Alibi Cloud VS login uh, page here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. My password's already saved. Once I'm logged in, um, you'll see right now we have only have one zone set up or a couple zones, only one camera. I have a test zone here. In order to add this camera though, all I need to do is hit the add device option. I'm gonna give that device a name. So we'll do test dome camera. Uh, device zone, I can go ahead and add that into test zone. And then here, all I need to do is type in the MAC address of the camera. So if I grab this camera here and I look at the bottom piece, I don't know if I could get it close enough, you can see there is a MAC address there. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in to the MAC address field. Okay, and once that is inputted into the MAC address field, I'm gonna go ahead and hit add device. And I'm gonna go ahead and let that kind of do its thing. Shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna look at my watch here. So right now your cloud, uh, the Cloud VS servers are reaching out through the internet to this camera. They're verifying the MAC address and then it will add it to your account. And that typically takes about 15 to 30 seconds or so. And then while I'm talking here, it did complete the process. You're gonna get a notification that says device added successfully. And that's what we hit at, and that's what we see here. So if we either can add another device if we would like or go to the dashboard. If I go to dashboard here, you'll notice that this test camera is listed here, test dome camera. And if I hit the live button, it will take me to the live view here in the video room uh, of that camera. So you can also add cameras to your account via the Cloud VS mobile app. So there is definitely a, a couple ways you can do that and I'm gonna show you right now. So once you log directly into the app, you'll see the little dashboard here that has your zones available. If you wanna add a camera to a current zone, you can tap on that zone and then down here on the bottom with the settings wheel, you'll have the add camera option. If you want to add it to a zone that doesn't have any cameras, you can hit uh, the test zone here and it's going to prompt you directly to add a camera. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add camera there. So once you go to add camera, there's going to be three options here. We're going to focus on the top option for now, which is add a cloud cam. And in here, this will search your local network um, for any cloud cameras. You want to make sure that your phone is connected to that same local network. So right now I do have a camera connected it into my local network and my cell phone is also connected via Wi-Fi to that same network. So I hit continue here. It will automatically search my local network for any available cameras. And as you can see here, it did find the NC104F. The only thing I have to do from this point forward is select the camera, give it a name, hit the check mark here and it's going to automatically add that camera to my Cloud VS account. All right, so once you get the congratulations message, you can hit continue here and it will have the camera available. Now, if I go back to my dashboard, you'll notice that I have a camera in the test zone as well. Okay, so we're back here on the dashboard of the Alibi Cloud VS mobile app and we're gonna go ahead and add a cloud camera to our Cloud VS account uh, using the MAC address of the camera. So this time we'll do the same thing. We're gonna click on test zone and in here, we're gonna go to add camera. 
So in this screen, we're gonna choose the bottom option, which is add cameras by MAC address. Follow these steps. The good thing is that with some of our newer cameras, you do have the option to just scan the QR code on the camera to input the MAC address. This camera does have that option and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But there is also, if you don't have the QR code, you can just manually enter the MAC address. So I'm gonna hit continue here. I'm gonna give the camera a name. And it's automatically gonna pull up my camera. So if you don't have a QR code on your camera, there is a button on the bottom here that will allow you to enter the MAC address manually so you can add the camera to your account. So I'm gonna grab the CloudVS camera, I'm gonna flip it over and there is a MAC address underneath and it quickly scanned that MAC address and it is currently adding that camera to my CloudVS account. Okay, so now that you got the congratulations screens, we can hit continue and the camera is online. So that just shows you even th using the, the CloudVS mobile app, you can add it by scanning your network or you can add it by MAC address. Um, it's still a very simple process overall. Overall, that's how easy it is to add a cloud camera like this one to your cloud account. If you do have any issues or problems with this, make sure to reach out to our tech support team. They can help you out with any questions you have. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below so you can get notified when cool videos like this one are available.